Hi everybody, JT here. Uh, one of the viewers say that uh, demo demonstrate this radius here with the 3D surfacing instead of um, contour. Uh, I'm going to make this video. Uh, it should be quick, but I will explain uh, a little bit so he can understand now uh, anybody watching this will be able to do it let's say if you don't have that a quarter in bar nose there in the machine and let's say if you don't have um, uh, the pocket to put the two in anymore is on the pocket uh, occupies because of, of all the two already set up in there and let's say if he had the uh, an A in there for example and then um, we can use this A to an A2 to, to do this radius here and it, it up here too just so you know you don't have to set up another two but like I say servicing is take longer than contour so if you do one or two piece that's okay but if you do let's say 10, 20 or 100 parts and then you shouldn't do this way but let's just say that he run only one part right and then he already have an eight bar nose in there already set up now basically he just need to finish this and this all right so let's get to it well first you create a two and eight just straight shank long enough the shank long enough to go from here to here so it doesn't uh, collide with this if you have like a, a stuffy short uh, shank and, uh, and a taper shank or something like that and it's not long enough and then you have to relieve it or you know um, I'll fire two that you know it should the shank should be straight and and a little bit longer than this depth I think it's half inch but let's assume this is all good the shank is long enough to do this so the same thing we just drag the two down do surface in surface flow speed and fit you put it in right I mean a uh, step over smaller is look better uh, smooth but it take longer everything else should be the same like last time and then uh, torrent will be finished to pass everything should be there for and just select okay let this let I will explain this but let first uncheck first and then I will tell you why I check it or sometimes you have to check it let's render it just does to pass only and you can see look good but in the shank hit this wall right here right so let's say if don't you you don't want the shank to uh, drag around this and then that's where the gal check come into play okay redo it take a little bit longer but as you can see here it won't touch this wall anymore and it look better but sometimes you don't have to let's say if you know this shank is good straight shank it's good and then it I mean it barely touch it so it won't be a problem but let's say if you do more or something like that if you want good finish you want to make sure it doesn't uh, collide with this post 
Now island here and then you put the gal protector gal protect on check it then you will be able to know that it won't touch this all right just as simple as that and the same you can do with this one just do it select the surface and do it okay there you go so it's as simple as that Okay, let's see that two. Let's render that two off. And you can see, look good. All right, so that's will is planted. And that's how you do 3D surfacing. Um, like I said before, in case you already have the two, you don't want to set that quarter in. And if you have one or two part to make, and then um, let's say you lazy, you don't want to set up another two, and then you just do like that. It doesn't. It take a little bit longer, but not that long. So if you want, if you have one part or two part to make, and then uh, I think it will be fine. But if you have a hundred part to make, and then yeah, you should try to find um, a, a a two rated the same with this bottom rated and cut a contour it much farther. Ah, uh, let's say let's pretend this one is not a standard size. Right, let's just make this is instead of one twenty five let do point one okay of course point one you can't really use any of these two to do contour so you have to do uh, surfacing yep yeah. I think this is a good case to say why you have to do 3d surfacing mm -hmm. Same thing, just double click, select that radius, redo it. On top here, you don't have to, so just let uncheck so it generate to pass faster. Alright, let's render this. As you can see, it looks perfect, look good, no gouging or anything. And this is the reason why you have to do 3D surfacing when you can't do contour or can't do anything else. Uh, like this one over here, I mean, it's like this, it's a perfect example of why uh, 3D surfacing is best. Alright, so that's it for this video. Uh, next video, I will do a uh, whole thing for this part. Yeah, I just add this one in for the next video. Because I'm going to do from real, real the whole pocket this out, surface in this, this 3D uh, version meal, contour outside like a finite part. Then you will be able to uh, see or learn all of this in one video. So see you next video. Um, bye. Oh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like the video if you like the video. Or dislike if you think something is not correct or something that you want to correct me feel free to do so. Alright, bye now.